Hi everyone, this is Mark from Gadget Shelf and what you're looking at is an implementation of the Jelly Bean operating system on an Asus TF101. As we all know, there is no longer an update for that. Um, it's only the Prime that's getting the update. So I flashed this ROM. This is my second day with it. This is Rayman FX's CM10 implementation. So we'll start the tour with the lock screen. There we go. You can see that it now tells you what to do or what you can do while it's locked. There's the lock on the right, um, camera on the left, and search functions at the top. Okay. Um, one of the added search functionalities or I think this is this was already there on ICS before um, of course you can talk to it like Siri testing centers so you can see it does have a very good voice recognition software but you have to have internet for that to work okay so we're back to home screen and you can see some of the changes here um, are these things here below icons have changed also here um, there are still five basic home screens but you can change this as this is cyanogen mod you can um, increase it or decrease it all depends on you mm. uh, the transitions uh, what is called as project butter you can see here is it tracks the movement of the um, capacitive touchscreen better so if you scroll slowly it moves slowly if you scroll fast move fast and then you are changing from one application to the next uh, you can see that it stays on the side and then um, zooms into the application um, like that so it gives you a better feel of smoothness all throughout um, here we are at the settings screen and you can see that it's in indeed Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean with a modified kernel version. Um, you can also see here that application profiles have been added. So if an app needs you to log into something, it you can manage it here as well, apart from the app itself. One of the other changes in the interface is when you're on an app, let's say here, if it does not have the menu button here, which is a standard that they did for ICS, you can find it at the bottom here. See? There. That one game response is about just the same I'd say um, for the ICS so we won't go through that anymore um, let's see okay so see that the transition is quite smooth not lagless totally but very nice already um, here the file system have changed has changed so uh, when you look here at the top it says storage and SD card zero it no longer differentiates between um, because on ICS there's an SD card and it wouldn't tell you if it's internal or external in this one um, it already knows how many ports is available and it already assigns 
numbers to them so when you put something in it becomes recognized as SD card 2 or USB disk 1 or 2 okay this is Astro and it's not default you need to push it into the device um, either through the Play Store or manually um, no not yeah through the Play Store basically um, okay audio and video response let's check because there are some bugs with this it's um, not an official firmware but it is has been tested quite well uh, this video is a 720p um, video and it does have sufficient volume the file itself so we're hearing it quite loudly but on other files the audio is still quite low but there's a cat kernel that you can use to modify that okay so what else um, there are some hidden things here like for the clock uh, there's already a stopwatch and a countdown timer which I don't think this is in ICS but I haven't really been going into the software into this part of the area I just set alarms before so there um, you can see that it is a CM because when you hold down the power button it gives you all these options to reboot into recovery or the bootloader so it's really for more advanced manipulation you can even overclock this on the settings but I'm not really interested in that if it works well then it works so we we'll reboot the tablet so we'll see that the boot screen has also been changed into the cyanogen mod one and so there we go that's jelly bean on the asus tf101 i hope you like the video and well it makes you interested to modify your device just be careful you don't break it but there are some ways to get it back if you do accidentally just uh, browse around at the forums okay we'll just wait for the there we go screens back on and apps are initializing Thank you for watching. This has been Mark from Gadget Shelf. See you again next.